fire still smoldering away so that's what I want to see because I can hopefully get to some of these palms today and start cleaning up around the pool area. The list is endless. We were just literally saying then we should actually write a list of what we need to do. I've got ideas in my head that I want to like plan out the paddocks and thinking do I get to them or do I continue around the smaller veggie garden um, setting up things. I've got an old rainwater tank that's in the bushes I'm going to show you guys after. I want to pull that out and I'm thinking of putting dirt in it and using that as like another planter box. It's pretty old and rustic looking but I need to get this mower going. So I've had the battery on charge again all night. It nearly went yesterday. It just didn't kick over so I'm not sure whether it's the spark plugs or something like that but I'm going to put it in and have another go. I've even moved my car out the way because I'm confident that it's going to work today and I'll be taking straight off down the paddock. So excited the mower is running it finally happened it's been a long time coming but yeah I never thought I'd be this excited about a mower starting guys Such a good feeling having this mower going. I've made a really good start. I've just had a stick flick up and knocked my belt off. I was up behind the pool area and the stick has come up and it's flicked my belt off. So hopefully once I put it back on, the mower starts up again. That's my next big issue because as you guys know, it's been playing up and it's worked this morning. Fingers crossed. I'm sure now it's started, it'll keep starting, hopefully. Okay. The belt is on, moment of truth. Okay, I'm just heading down now to let Neptune, who just called out to me there, I'm just going to let Neptune out of his round yard, let him graze around on the grass for a little bit. Lily's on my back. I'm trying to get her to have a sleep and I've got Mary here yep. to give me a hand as well. So we're just kind of having a little walk around and dogs are barking over there as you can see Blaine's been mowing and I'm so happy about that because the grass was just getting too long and we really want to start planning out our garden beds I don't know if Blaine's mentioned to you guys but I'm actually really tempted to plant this section out here and just have like a farm kitchen garden here and then have the market garden out in this big paddock where Neppy is there's just so much space, but you can see there's like a lot of space here. But if I do do that, I also lose space to ride my horses. It's like, it's so hard. It's so hard to know what to do, what's right. And just, yeah, knowing where to plant everything. Uh, but I just want to get stuff in the ground because it's starting to really warm up already. It's only, it's actually still the middle of winter, really. I've got another month, July and August. Um, but yeah, look at these two. He's so fluffy. Hello, Fluffy. Do you want to come out and eat some grass? There go. Freedom! <laughs> Here comes Rosie over the back. But yeah, that's the other patch just down there, which we've spoken about before, where we were thinking about planting just pretty much where Rosie is. Most of this space in here.
coming down near the chicken coop and checking on the girls. Here they are. There's probably an egg in there, but we're gonna collect that in a minute. I wanted to show you guys our front paddock because this is also another paddock that I'm considering. I'm looking at the ground and I'm really conscious of where I'm walking for snakes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is another area that we're thinking of planting out and it is huge, guys. It's like, I'd say it would be at least two acres or maybe one and a half um the only problem is as blaine said in previous vlogs it does hold a lot of water but look at it can't see very well here but it is huge and at the moment it's full of weeds so blaine's going to mow all of this today this is one of his main tasks for the day is to mow mow this down and i guess once it's mowed down we'll have a better idea of what we can plant and where the water's sitting we have a bit of an idea but still things change over time so he's going to come and mow all of this down and then we'll be able to do a walkthrough and show you guys what it looks like when he's finished but mary how amazing is the weather today oh it's so amazing i would say it's probably like 22 degrees yeah and like it's just the perfect sunny day blue skies i know it doesn't look that blue but it's blue skies and it's just yeah it's really nice it almost feels a bit summery yeah it's weird it Anyway, let's go back up and check on these chickens. These chickens are so desperate to get out and um, we're going to set up the chicken netting soon and have them free range in this area here. I'm sure they'll be happy with that. Okay, let's check the for eggs. And also maybe we'll top up their feed as well. Yep. <laughs> it's easier from the outside. Chickens, they're all good. Let's check the eggs. Where do they normally lay them, um, Mum? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> she's been getting in the back, but she's not in the back now, so yeah. maybe in that little box there. Ooh, in that little box there. In there? Yeah. Okay, we'll check in here. Just have a look around. I don't think there's any eggs in there. I can't see any eggs today. Come back tomorrow morning or maybe even this afternoon. So something that I've actually noticed um, is our baby chickens have become a lot bigger over the last few days. I think this one's a rooster, but as you can see, he's pretty big now. So I just had to have a lunch break and I'm gonna put the belt back on the mower. Every now and again, I hit a stick, comes off. It's easy to put back on, but I'm having a uh, well-earned break. Don't tell the kids because um, pretty sure they'll be upset that I've eaten one of their icy poles. But I think I've earned it. The place is starting to look really good. Mowed all through these bushes. So I've mowed all the way down there to the chicken sheds. I'm gonna put the belt on and I'm gonna mow the front paddock. It's quite big and it takes some time, but it needs to be done so I can rest it and new grass can come through and I can put the horses back in there. Cause that naughty one, that's the paddock that he can't get out of. So I need to sort that out real quick. I've just been looking at these kale plants here and I think that, look, there's actually quite a few of them bunched together. Yeah. There's like four here and then there's a, like three here. And then the same here. There's quite a few bunch together. And so you can see the cows growing really well. And part of the idea of this garden is just to see what's going to grow well this time of year and in this type of soil. And we've discovered that kale grows really well. Everything's growing really well. Things are doing well, but especially the kale and obviously the strawberries. So I think they're a really good thing to grow this time of year in this type of soil. But what do you guys think? Should we separate these kales and replant them? Well, I reckon we separate them because we don't really have much to lose, do we? We've got, no. We've got no. more kale to we've gain, got, but... We've got more to gain than to yeah. lose. A little mate over there on the fence. Um, the carrots didn't really take. These little funny carrots, they didn't really take. So maybe we could plant two more runs of kale here. Yeah, I think so we should. So separate these and then run two more things of kale and make use of what actually does grow this time of year. What do you reckon? Yep, I reckon we should we do, do it, it right now. I'm just going to grab his tools from the garden shed. <laughs> Don't take it. That's not how they're staying. I've only just put it in <laughs> It needs it. Oh, it's so warm in there, isn't yeah, it? it's like hot. I love all this 
nasturtions still growing up around here. A few vlogs ago, or a few days ago, last week I think it was, we replanted a little bit of nasturtium that I had just pulled straight from the ground and I just want to give you an update on that. Here it is here and you can see it's doing well. It's just, I might just pull those bits off, but you can see that it's still green, it's still alive and it's even got some new growth there as well. So that's how easy it is to grow nasturtiums. They just literally rip them off and put them in the ground and they'll grow. Whole thing out. I think you'll find that they'll each have their own separate roots. I think the hard part's going to be risking like disturbing the root system and risking them not doing so well but i think kale's pretty hardy and i think they'll be okay from this transfer I'd, I'd call it a transfer would you some would transfer from a pot to a garden <laughs> we're actually transferring from a clump to a separate thing so there's the first see they're kind of like oh one really well that one's good that one's separated yeah, just give it a go. That's purple kale. Because it likes separate yep. types, okay? Yep. So from that one little clump, we've got four separate ones. So, uh, yeah, let's just pop them in the ground. We've got nothing to lose. No. But kale to gain. So what happened with the mowing? Um, I got heaps done today, but now I think the belt has stretched a bit and it keeps coming off. So yeah. I'm going to have to replace that now. Yep. But I'm really happy I got what I got done. Yeah, it looks it's pretty amazing. Like a park again. Yeah, so hopefully I've got to go into town and get some horse feed mm. and another bag of chicken feed and I'll try and get another belt for the mower so <laughs> I can continue on with my mowing. That phase two, now this is the big one. There's heaps of, oh! <laughs> this one's got quite a few and they're quite, like you could almost separate those two. I don't know, I think we're doing the wrong thing in separating those two, I don't know. Maybe keep those two together. I'll just put that one back in there. Uh, I don't know. The root system is tiny yeah. on these. Yep. You could literally just make as many as you could because remember they grow so well. Well, that's actually two good ones there. Yeah, but we don't want to risk it. Wondering what that noise is? It's actually our resident peacock and he calls out. It must be coming close. It's coming into springtime soon, so it'll be mating time, and that means peacock calling out like that most of the day. Singulars. Tiny ones. Oh, why that. not? Let's just see what they do. That's the idea, isn't it? We're just yeah. trying. It's all trial and error at this point. So there you go, we've got heaps more kale now. Heaps of kale up there. We've basically turned these three kale bunches into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've multiplied the kale and hopefully it grows. All the mulberries are coming up now and there's getting a lot more foliage. So I'm going to show Ruth around the property that I've just mowed. <laughs> well, he's going to show me his good work that he's yeah. just done. Well, I love it. I love mowing and then having a look at it after it. Like, especially yeah. when the grass is long and it just doesn't look the best. Once you mow, you just get this feeling of satisfaction. Like, everybody that mows knows what I'm talking yeah. about. Look at all this. He's uncovered. He's uncovered all this space around here. This is like right down the back of the paddock. It's usually just all overgrown and it's like beautiful. So that's the veggie garden right over there. So I've got all of this space. This is what I'm talking about. We've got so much space here to grow. Like we could have a really good, we could have a really good garden bed out here. And that's what I'm, we're trying to decide. We need your help guys. Where should well, we find things? I don't, I think this would be a good space. So I love this grass area here. It's just good in summer and the kids grass. can play and stuff to keep it as grass. And we've got that paddock with the terraces in it. So I really think that 
that's what we need to utilize and start planning out down there i need to get to work and i've got plenty of clearing to do down there so it's going to take a bit of time yep but if i do one garden or one terrace at a time it should be we fine could do that could do could that do one terrace at a time yeah. you guys can give us tips along the way yep definitely yeah. but yeah i'll show you guys claim back a lot of my property so much, i can ride my horse through here you can ride your horse through here There is a lot of space around here. It's kind of like a secret garden in here. Well, isn't that's it? what I like about it's like it. Like really sort of shaded and. I'll, I'll quickly show them. I've got a couple of walking tracks okay, around the back, so I'll quickly show you guys. Come. So the house is right up the back there, as you can see behind me, and I've got some walking tracks that I have created with the mower today. There's the mandarin trees up there. All through here. This is the house. Chicken shed over there. I've mowed all down there, so that looks a lot better. So I didn't have any luck mowing the front paddock like I said that belt kept coming off so I'm gonna fix that that's an easy fix so I can get maybe onto mowing the front paddock tomorrow it's not a major at this point in time <laughs> hello hello so what do you think guys I think it's really unfair that you can't comment on our videos anyway we do have Instagram and we do have Facebook and we're active on both of those pages so definitely feel free to comment, comment or message comment. us there we want to definitely hear everybody's comments. Yep. All right, I think we can end the vlog. Yeah, we're going to end the vlog here for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Blaine's going to get the chicken netting done tomorrow, like yep. for you guys tomorrow, so you can see how that all works. And you hear some motorbikes in the background now. Um, he's going to get that all sorted tomorrow, and the girls can have their free run of the grass. So that'll be good for them. Yeah, I was going to do it today, but once that mower started, there was no stopping no, me. I was, he was so gone. excited. See you later. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, we're going to go and do what we have to do finish feeding the animals, yep. doing other things around the farm. Yeah, so anyway, give the video a like if you did like it. It really helps our channel and it helps us know that you're enjoying our content. Subscribe if you haven't already. We love having so many people a part of the community and just sharing knowledge and just being a part of the journey with us. And until next time, Don't, don't forget, forget to live, love, love and respect. respect. Bye. Bye.